Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. And today I've got another episode of my new series, Classic Candy Corner. And today I was in the store the other day and ran across this and this was something that I kind of remember. And I seem to remember this from the movies when I would get these at the, if I'd go to the movies. And these are another classic candy. I'm sure a lot of people of you, I'm sure a lot of you remember the candies when you get them at the movies and you get like the Raisinets and the snow caps and the Goobers and I think the, the hot tamales and some of those things that they had when I was little. And this was another one, bottle caps. They were all just, just, they were sort of like sweet tarts and they're a little bit different. They tasted like soda can, and it says uh, root beer, cherry, grape, cola, and orange. So they're all little different sodas and they've got lots of little bubbles and fizzes and it's supposed to be like the old classic sodas, but in a candy. They're not as bad as like the Razzles were. The Razzles were a little bit tough to chew and these are just kind of like a tart sweet tart type thing and for 13 pieces at 60 calories so no nah, that's not too bad about well what about five five calories for a cap i guess <laughs> now here's another one where it's got a special way to open it up. It's got the little tab here. And I think in the old days, it was just a little flap on the end that you open up. And yeah, this is like kind of the nerds where it's got the little thing in there. These seem to be a lot smaller than I remember. Huh, these are different. Well, yeah, here we go. These are a lot smaller than I remember them. I think they were in like a packet before and they were a little bit bigger and flatter and they actually curved down like a bottle cap. So I think they've made a little bit of change on these than I remember. And I always like, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, I like the root beer. I like the root beer and the cola. So I guess, yeah, here we go. This is different because one's, one's this color and one's this color. One's darker. So I think this is the root beer and this is probably the cola. And then the orange and the grape and the cherry. So I'm going to go ahead and I think this is the root beer. Root beer one. I'm going to try that. Try that. Hmm. Yeah. It's kind of like. It almost does taste a little bit fizzy. I don't know how they make it taste like kind of a little bubbly. If they've got like something that makes it fizz a little bit. <laughs> May contain egg. Different. But yeah. Mm-hmm. That's root beer. And this one's going to be cola. Yeah, I can taste the cola flavor to it. So yeah, these were kind of cool. Remember these back in the day. And like I said, I think these are not quite like I remember them. These are more along the lines of a sweet tart. And it seems like I remember them. They were a lot flatter. And they were like the size of a bottle cap. So, maybe for this one, or maybe the whole thing, they've kind of reworked how they are. But yeah, they, they taste the same. They're just a little bit differently shaped than I remember them. But then again, I haven't probably had them in like, you know, 15 years, probably. And... They might have changed the way they package them, changed the way they did things, but 
seems like I remember to get those at the movies. And my favorite things at the movies were either the hot tamales or sometimes I like the junior mints or I like the snow caps or what they called the not they were called non perials and the snow caps were just little versions of them they were the little chocolate with the little white um, white little sprinkles on them little things on there and they were the if you ate too many of them you kind of got you know the roof of your mouth kind of got messed up but that was always kind of different but yeah when when we go to the movies they always had the good candy and Back in my day, when you'd get in the movies for, you know, when I was real little, I think it was only like about two dollars or something, and or then it kind of went up to like four or something or five something. And if you went to the matinee, it was like half price, but it's not like that now. <laughs> Go to the movies now, and it's about twenty bucks. Probably get in, depending on your theater, but. And if you buy candy there, you'll forget it. <laughs> buy the candy at the movie theater and you end up paying, you know, a lot of money. Some of those things are a lot. And I've even been to some movie theaters where they have in the lobby where you can go in the corner and they have like, you know, get your candy by the pound and weigh it out. It's like, you know, gummy bears and all that kind of thing. Sour Patch Kids and things like that. And... They charge you like $8 a pound when you go to the movie. Popcorn's at a premium. So if you go to the movie theaters and you buy your candy and popcorn and snacks, expect to pay quite a bit of money. That's why you kind of take your own and sneak it in. At least I try to. Well, if it helps. If, if you go by yourself, you know, if I go by myself, I can't really sneak much in. But if, <laughs> you know, with your... Your significant other and she's got a real big purse or a, a you know a tote bag or something you can kind of sneak something in there but you know if you're a guy and by yourself it's kind of tough to smuggle in something I don't know maybe and there might be a way I don't know but yeah if you try to bring in your own candies or your own snacks it's a little bit cheaper but a lot of places won't let you do it they won't let you bring in anything from the outside and they pretty much st almost strip search you when you go into the movie theater you know with all the problems in the past they don't want people going in some of them are metal detectors and I remember one time I went to a movie theater and I had been over it was in a mall and I'd been over to, I think it was Applebee's and I'd had dinner and I had I didn't finish it and I was getting ready to do a um, takeout. And when I went into the movie theater and the lady says, you know, I bought, went ahead and bought the tickets and then we're getting ready to go in. And I had my to-go container and the lady's like, you can't bring that in here. I said, what do you mean? And it was like ribs from Applebee's. I was left leftover ribs or something in the to-go container. And she says, you can't bring that in here. I said, well, what do you mean you can't bring it in here? So this is a to-go container. This is ribs. And she's like, no, I can't let you have any outside food. And I said, so what What do you mean I can't bring it in here? She says, well, you're going you're gonna to have to either, you know, throw it away or put it in your car or do something. I can't let you bring it in. And I'm like, really? You're going to make me go all the way out to my car, put the ribs in the car, and then come back here? to get into the movie and she's like yeah and I'm like okay well you know I'd already bought the tickets so I said okay well I'll go out to the car put the put it in the car and come back and I gave her a really dirty look and said you know look you know, I'm not going to be eating ribs <laughs> in a movie theater but you know that's why I bought the candy at the movie theater for ten dollars a box <laughs> you know I don't know. But yeah, they make out like bandits if you buy the candy at the movie theater. And so I guess they don't want you to bring in your own. It, bites, it, it gets into their profit margin. But anyway, yeah, these were 
Bottle caps were things that I kind of remember from when I was little. And they were always a fun little, fun little candy to try. And they did taste a little bit like fizzy candy. Although they didn't fizz, not like Pop Rocks or not like the Zotz candy or anything like that. But they were always fun. And like I said, I found these in the uh, grocery store. And I thought I'd go ahead and try them just to, because they kind of bring back the memory. So if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell right over there. And if you have any suggestions for me on Classic Candy Corner, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. And uh, I'll try and get to some other classic candies out there as we go forward. And I find them or locate them in the stores or maybe online, something like that. So... Till next time on Drew's Food Reviews, this has been another episode of Classic Candy Corner, and I'll talk to you guys later. Cut. Take two. And did it. Okay, that's a blooper. I haven't even had the candy, and I'm bloopering. So, move that to the end.